Okay, you guys, so the first three months of 2023 are gone, which means it's time for a goal update. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally um, at an antique mall and occasionally I make Mercari and Depop sales, but this video is about my goals for 2023. So I'm a very goal oriented person. I love setting them um, near the end of the year for the following year and I put them up here on YouTube just in case you know it's motivating for you or you care about what I am doing and how I am doing on my goals um, they're not my most watched videos and that's totally fine I'm still going to do them because it helps keep me accountable but Anyways, for 2023, I had 15 goals in three categories, business, personal, and financial. I upped that from 2022 when I only had 12 goals, so I just basically added three, one in each category. So let's get right into it. This is usually a fairly quick video. So the first category we're gonna talk about is the business. And these are in no particular order, just however I wrote them down at the end of the year when I was making my list. So the first one is to profit $30,000 from my side hustles. So that includes reselling, which is my main side hustle, YouTube, because I do make a small amount of revenue on YouTube. I was making money on Instagram Reels until they unfortunately paused that uh, Reels bonus program in March, which kind of stinks, but, um, and it also leaves room for any other side hustles I might encounter or start in this year. So a total of 30,000, I made over 25,000 just reselling last year. So I wanted to up it a little bit, um, which works out to about $2,500 a month. And so far I'm behind. So I ended Q1, all of these numbers are as of March 31st, 2023 um, I ended March with six thousand two hundred seventy dollars and ninety three cents not great um, you know if I was on track I'd be at about seventy five hundred dollars in profit but um, with the way reselling has gone for me since January ended um, I'm not surprised to see that I am behind but hopefully we can still get there we will see how things turn out next is to get a red star on on eBay, which means that I would have over a thousand feedback. I started the year at 870, and after the end of Q1, I'm at 932, so a little bit more to go, and I should hopefully hit this goal by the end of the year. Next is a YouTube goal, so you guys could help me out with that if you want. It's to reach 2,500 subs on YouTube. Last year, my goal was 2,000, and since I am still not there, I definitely didn't hit that goal, but I just like to have something to strive towards, so 2,500 subs seemed like a good place. So this is the point in the video where if you're not already subscribed and you enjoy reseller content with occasional travel and lifestyle mixed in there whenever I have time to get those videos out, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. If you are already subscribed, share me to your friends who might like my content. I would appreciate it so much. Um, so I started the year at 1,621 subs and ended Q1 at 1,715. So not quite $100 in three months. I've always been a very slow growing channel and that's totally fine for me. Next is to hit $10,000 in my 90 day total on eBay. I was close for most of 2022. I was hovering between eight and nine K um, and then everything took a dive. So I started the year at just 5,000 um, and I ended Q1 at 6,666 and 45 cents. <laughs> um, so I definitely went up, but now we're back to just over 5,000 because eBay has been down the tubes for me. Hopefully that will turn around. I think the you know economy, inflation, all of that has to do with eBay as well um, because I'm not doing really anything differently. I'm still listing about the same amount of items per week. I'm promoting everything at 2%. Maybe I should revisit that and up the promotion rate, um, we'll see. But yeah, so far that's how things are. 
And the last one in the business category is to thrift at the bins one time per month or 12 times per year, you know, because on occasion I can't always get to the bins once per month. Um, and I'm happy to say that I did go three times between January and the end of March. Um, I skipped February because February was a busy month for me. It's my daughter's birthday month and we had a lot going on. Um, so I did two trips in March both of which you guys have seen the hauls for on this channel. And I actually have a my April one coming up soon. Um, so yeah, we're at three, we're on track for that. All right, let's move on into the personal category. Um, so the first one here is to go three months without ginger ale. I completed this as of March 31st. Um, and I still haven't had even a sip of ginger ale. Um, so I'm doing well. I think it also helps that I have started, you know, working out on the Peloton every day. Um, so I don't really have like a craving for um, sugary drinks other than I have a juice every morning. It's like a V8 juice, but yeah, still no desire to have ginger ale. Just basically water is all I drink all day. Next was to read six books. I originally was going to put 12 books and I guess I probably should have because I'm actually reading book number 12 right now at the end of April and I had nine read by the end of March. So I'm well surpassed that goal. That goal is already completed. Speaking of Peloton that I was just talking about a few minutes ago, the next one on this list is to join a gym or a fitness class. So I purchased my Peloton secondhand. It was my favorite secondhand find probably of all time, but I'm really loving it. I purchased that on March 22nd and I have used it every single day since. Um, so it's been over a month. Um, so I guess we can kind of say this goal is satisfied, um, but I think I want to give it a couple more months, maybe like three months before I can officially say that this goal is completed, but I don't foresee that being a problem whatsoever. Um, so I guess when I do the Q2 review, you guys will know if I have stuck with the Peloton, but so far so good. Next is to make over the laundry room. Um, the laundry room in my house is the only room besides like our weird half bathroom that nobody ever uses. Uh, but it's the only room so far that hasn't been painted, like the walls haven't been painted. Um, I haven't started painting that yet. However, I did have my contractor come by just today, actually this morning, and he is going to be making me a bunch of wood shelves. Um, we're gonna have two 16 foot long shelves, uh, a couple other really long shelves um, to replace the ugly white wire ones that came with the house when I purchased it. So that's the start of the makeover. Um, I don't think I'll do like a whole vlog because it's probably going to be a very, lengthy process um, and I don't even know if I'll complete it by the end of the year um, but we'll see I will definitely take some like before and after pictures to share with you guys but so far nothing has happened with this yet um, he just came today to like measure to see what we need and the next and last one for personal is to visit three new countries so far I haven't been anywhere new in 2023 um, hopefully that will change. I am supposed to do Belize by the end of the year and I'm trying to find places right now to go for my birthday in July. So hopefully I can get, you know, a couple countries in this year. I do have a goal outside of this um, to do 40 countries in all seven continents um, by the end of my 40th year. And I still have a little over three years left to go. So... I really need to get on the ball because I have nine countries left. So hoping to do three this year, three next year, three the following year, and that will get me to 40, but we'll see how things play out. Moving on to the financial category, the last category we're gonna talk about today. The first one here is to invest 20% of my reselling profit. Last year was my first year ever investing any money in anything, and I invested 10% of my reselling profits. Um, so I wanted to up it this year because it would be really great if I could retire early ever and not work for someone else and just, you know, have my money making me money if that makes sense. And so I ended Q1 with $4,083.73 in that account. Um, it does include the rollover from whatever I put in there from 2022. Um, but yeah, I have kept up with that. And at the end of the month, after I get like my booth numbers, I um, put 20% in to that account. 
Next is to make two extra mortgage payments. This is something I started when I first purchased this home back in June of 2020. Um, I haven't made the first one for this year yet. Usually what I do is um, make the first one of the two in Q2 and then I make the uh, second one in Q4 just so I can space them out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it helps to pay down my loan faster and give me more equity for you know, the time when I decide to sell and move on. Next is to have a zero dollar balance on my student loans. This one's still on pause because everything is still going through the courts regarding the student loan forgiveness from Biden. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I have the money, as I've said in a lot of these videos, <laughs> um, I have the money to pay it off right now, um, but I don't want to if I don't have to. So I am holding on to that until the point when a decision is finally made about that. So more to come as information comes out. Next is to continue with my two savings goals. These are goals that I started in 2021. Um, so this is my third year doing it and I have a 26 paycheck account. So basically I get paid bi-weekly and every paycheck I put a certain dollar amount into a savings account. At the end of the year you have about $1,700 and I think $50 or $1,700 plus interest. Um, so the idea is to start with $5 on your first paycheck and increase by $5 every paycheck until the end. I think the last payment is like $130 or $135. Um, and Last year I did it backwards. So the first year I did five all the way through starting at the beginning of the year. Last year I started with the highest amount and then went down to $5 and I'm doing it that way as well this year. That way, you know, when we get closer to the holidays and the end of the year, I only have like 15 to $5 coming out of my account during my pay periods, if that makes sense. So at the end of Q1, I had $805 and 31 cents in that account. Um, and I also have the other one is what I call a Thursday temperature savings, which today was Thursday. So the idea is I have an alarm set on my phone for one o'clock in the afternoon every single Thursday. And no matter where I am, I pull up the weather app on my phone and at one o'clock I check the weather. So today it was 56 degrees out. So I took $56 and input it into that savings account. Um, I had a little over $3,000 when I did this last year and then I used it to um, get a new chimney. <laughs> so that money was just gone in a flash, uh, which is kind of why I wanted to start these challenges um, and as of the end of Q1, so March 31st, I was at $569.20 in that account. Granted, I live in New England and it's been cold um, for the first ha first part of the year, so hopefully I will get a lot more in that account over the next six months through summer and fall. And then the last one we're gonna talk about today is to open an IRA account for my daughter um, who is a teenager. I would like to start her off into adulthood in a much better place financially than I was at. Um, it's just something that I want to do since, you know, I have a decent paying full-time job, at least as of today, and I have various side hustles that bring in extra money for us. So while I have the means to do so, I might as well try my best to kind of set her up for success, if that makes sense. So I do want to set her up with an IRA account, but I haven't done so yet. I still want to look at the details and make sure that I do everything properly and it's all gravy. So that one is still pending, but I am hopeful that I will get that all set um, and settled by the end of the year. So those are my 15 goals for 2023. Um, if you guys have goals that you set for yourself for this year, let me know in the comments down below how you're doing on them, or just let me know some uh, interesting goals that you might have set for yourself, even if you haven't accomplished them yet, or you're not you know, on track to accomplish them yet. I just love to hear about that stuff. And you know, if you ever just wanna chat about that, privately off of the YouTube platform, feel free to reach out to me via email or send me a DM on Instagram. I'm super responsive on there. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you who tune into my videos. Um, some of you are very religious and you watch every single one. And I know this one's kind of outside of my normal content, but it does in a way relate to resale. 
But yeah, I, I always appreciate all the support from this community. That's why I keep coming back and posting videos here on YouTube because it's still a little bit weird for me and awkward feeling just to just sit in front of a camera and record a video. Um, for the internet to see. But yeah, thank you again for watching. If you like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, as always, please consider subscribing. You'll also help me hit that goal this year. Um, and I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet. And I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.